Hello, uh, magandang gabi G9 So, nandito na tayo sa ating uh, last lesson for the third quarter We have here circular function okay? So, dito sa circular function, hahanapin natin yung mga trigonometric values Given an angle at any point Okay, so ito po ay madali lang We just need to memorize some of ratios na meron tayo Pero, kayang-kaya natin to So, to start now So, we have here a coordinate plane. Okay? So, dito, teka lang, ayusin ko lang to. Okay, bulayin ko lang to. Okay, so we have here our coordinate plane. So, we have our x-axis here, so horizontal. Then, we have our y-axis on the vertical. Okay? So, if we're given here a point, sabihin natin point x, y. Okay? So, i-graph natin si point x, y assuming ito siya. Itong naka-red dot dito. Ito na yung point x, y natin. Uh, starting here, okay? Ito yung initial side natin. Pupunta tayo. Then, we will create a line from the origin. Papasok. Uh, Iko-connecta natin dun sa point natin. So, ito yung pangalawang line. Okay? Ito yung terminal side natin. So, gagawa tayo ng angle ngayon. Ito. Coming from here. Ito yung uh, initial. Ito yung terminal. Okay? So, ito yung theta na nabuo. Okay? This is our theta. Okay? Then, with that, uh, ang gagawin natin dito hahanapin natin itong hypotenuse natin. Ito. Kasi itong portion na to, itong side na to, this is our x. Itong portion na to, na vertical, this is the, this is our y. Okay? So, itong side na to, itong hypotenuse, tatawagin natin siyang r. Okay? To find r now, ang formula lang niya is square root of x squared plus y squared. Okay? So, ganyan lang po yan kadali. If we would recall yung orientation ng sign, dito sa quadrant number 1, x and y natin dito ay positive lahat. Uh, pag ang point ninyo ay nag-fall sa quadrant number 2, uh, negative x, positive y. Pag nag-fall yung point sa quadrant number 3, parehas silang negative. Okay? At pag nasa quadrant number 4, Positive si x, negative naman si y. So, yan po ang mga tatandaan natin. Orientation ng mga signs. Quadrant 1, 2, 3, 4. And the formula ng r natin. Which is square root of x squared plus y squared. Then with that, pupunta na tayo sa orientation ng circular function. So, yung last quarter natin, yung second quarter, And introduce ko sa inyo yung trigonometric function using right triangle. So, using tri right triangle, ang ginamit natin doon is opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse, so katowa. Okay? Dito naman sa circular function, in terms of the point x, y tayo. Okay? So, dito, ang sine theta natin is y over r. Okay? Ang cosine theta is x over r. Tangent is y over x. Cos second is r over y, second is r over x, and cotangent theta is x over y. Okay? So, kung makikita ninyo, magkaka-reciprocal lang si sin and cos second, cos second, and tangent, cotangent. So, kindly memorize itong mga ratios natin, anim na ratios under circular function. Okay? So, paano po gamitin po yan? So, let's have an example here. So, ang gagawin natin, we will find the trigonometric values at point negative 3, 4. Okay? So, dito, ang x natin ay negative 3. Ang y natin is positive 4. So, gagraph natin si negative 3, 4. We will locate that o makikita natin yan sa quadrant number 2. And this is the point negative 3, 4. Ito naka blue. Okay? So, gagawa lang tayo ng initial side natin dito. Then, the terminal side. Then, we have here our theta. Okay? 
okay this is your x this is this is your y so hahanapin natin ngayon si r okay so si r uh, again the formula is square root of x squared plus y squared the next substitution so x is negative 3 and y is 4 square both terms so we have here 9 plus 6 and 9 plus 6 is square root of 25 and 20, square root of 25 is 5 so kompleto na tayo ng parts ngayon meron na tayong r x and y so pwede na natin na natin ngayon mahanap lahat ng trigonometric values ng circular function so direct substitution ngayon y natin is 4 uh, sine theta now is y over r so that is 4 over 5 uh, for cosine x over r so that will be negative 3 over 5 for tangent theta y over x negative 4 over 3 cosecant theta r over y so that will be 5 over 4 second theta is r over x so that is negative 5 over 3 then lastly, cotangent theta is x over y. So, yan po ay negative 3 over 4. Okay? Direct substitution lang na mga ito. x, y, and r, r. Such that, kailangan nilang i-memorize lahat ng ratios ng circular function. Okay? So, it's a very easy lesson. I-memorize lang yung anim. Parang sukatowa lang din po yan. Ang pagkakaiba lang po ng circular function is we use the point x and y. Okay? So with that, uh, pakiabangan yung sit work natin sa Quipper and maraming salamat. Kindly copy this notes sa inyong mga notebook and thank you sa pakinig. Okay? And bye-bye.